Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. In this video, I want to walk you through one of the maybe most interesting props and utility classes in Oxyprops, which is called RAM or RAM, that stands for Repeat Autofit MinMax. And behind these terms are very smart functions and algorithms that will help you create a responsive layout. So let's jump into Oxygen and have a look at it. We have a blank page and first thing I do, I have my structure panel here, I will add a section. And as always with Oxyprops, I have two ways of doing things. If I want to go the easy way, I can use a utility class. And if I want to go the custom way, I can build my own class using Oxyprops custom properties. So first, let's look how to build it the easy way. And let's say I want a layout that at my largest breakpoint will be a six columns layout, each column's width being one fifth of my maximum page width. I will use the class O-RAM-6 and apply that to my section. And in this section, with this six column grid layout, let's add some cards. So I will add a div. This div will be a card two, and let's add a heading and, and some text. My heading will be a H3 and my text will be some lorem ipsum, perfect. And let's add a gap to add some spacing to my card. And now it's okay. So now you can tell me, Cedric, you told us about a six column grid and I have only one card stretching for the whole width. That's the way it works. It's a six column grid, but if you have less than six elements in your grid, the elements will stretch to use the available space. To demonstrate this, let's duplicate the card. And you see that with two cards, I have two, three, four, five, six. And now I have reached my sixth column. And if I had a seventh one, I should have a new row. Perfect. So maybe we want to add some uh, spacing and I'm back to my section. And now in Oxygen 4, we have this very handy gap value field here. So you could think that I could add a gap here with a value of two, for example, but this doesn't work because as you can see, I had my gap and now I have five columns where I want six of them. That's because if I just add the gap here, the math doesn't work. So let's remove this one. And instead of adding my gap in the value field, I will add a class gap dash two. And as you can see this time, it works. I have my six columns. And that's because this specific class o dash gap dash two not only defines the value of the gap for my grid, but also includes a CSS custom property that passes a value to the RAM6 class. So it is able to calculate the required dimension of my columns, including my gap. And if, for example, I don't want a gap two, but I want a bigger one, let's say I want a very big gap, a gap five, for example, you can see that I have a much bigger gap and the width of each of the cards reduced to accommodate the gap and make sure we have six cards that fit inside our page width. So let's remove this gap and come back to a more reasonable one, gap two. And let's save and have a look at our front end. I have my six columns and my six columns spread across my page width. By default with Oxyprops default settings, my page width is 1440 pixels. And now what happens if I go to the responsive mode? Let's reduce the page width. And you can see that when I reach my breakpoint, the columns start to wrap because the card wants to keep a minimum width of one sixth of my full page width. So as I reduce, I go to four, three, two, one. And the layout adjusts by itself to make sure that my cards have a minimum width of one sixth of my page width. The RAM layout automatically adjusts to changes in your page width global settings. If I go to Oxygen, to my global styles, width and breakpoints, page width, and I change this to 1280, which is Oxygen default, let's save and go back to our front end. And when I refresh, we should see the page width reducing and the card width adjusting. That's what happened. The page width 
is now 1,290 and the individual card width did adjust to keep the sixth column grid. Perfect, let's come back to 1,440, let's save. And by changing the class here, I can change the number of columns if I want five. I go to RAM five and it adjusts four. You get the point. Let's save, back to my front end. And now I have a responsive four columns layout. Now maybe you want a three columns layout or a four columns layout, but you don't want it to be a full page width. So let's go back to my structure and I will delete this section and create a new one. And inside this section, I will add a div. My section will be right aligned. And let's say this div will be a container. So I will give it a background color. I will round the corners. I will add a drop shadow. By the way, you can see one of the latest features I added to Oxyprops. I'm in the custom CSS panel for my element. And I also included a context menu, a right click menu. And if I right click in my custom CSS field, I have access to many properties that cannot fit in the standard oxygen value fields. Okay, and so my div won't be a full width because I want to limit its size. So I will make it a O dash content three width. And just to remind you, we have three classes O dash content dash one, two, and three. And those classes are defined with a width that adjusts to the font size to make sure that the reading content keeps a maximum width that's comfortable for the user to read. So let's stick to content three. And just to demonstrate what I just said, if I adjust the font size for my container, and for example, I set it to the font size read one, you see that the width did adjust to this font size. Now that I have my container defined, let's add some cards inside it. So I will create a div. This div will be a card too, for example. Let's add some text and let's duplicate the card. I will add some padding to the container, all sides. Perfect, but that doesn't look like cards. And I want a layout, a grid layout with three columns. And I want these three columns to adjust to my container width. So I will add the class o-ram-3 to my container. And I have now three cards, each card having a width, a minimum width of one third of my container width. And once again, let's add some gap. I will add a gap one and the width adjust to accommodate the gap while keeping our three columns layout. And now let's check if this is responsive. I save, go to the front end, refresh. So here I have my three column layout and let's enter our responsive mode and shrink it. So we can see that now our container reaches 100 of the viewport width and let's reduce it. And when we reduce and that there is no more room for the card to be one third of the initial container width, it starts wrapping on two columns. And if I continue, it will eventually wrap on a single column. And so for now, we did it the easy way using the utility classes. But imagine that you want to add specifics to your classes and you want to take advantage of Oxyprop's custom properties in your own custom class. So let's try to do this instead of using those three predefined classes. So I will remove them. And I will create a custom class. And there are a few prerequisites for it to work. So you need to name it o-ram-my-custom-class. Name it anything, but it has to start by o-ram, first thing. Next, we can define a gap of size 3, 2, for example. We can define a width of 100%. We can define a max width, and for the max width, we will use a custom variable and we must use the name double dash o dash container width. But for now, this property container width is not defined, so this will not work. But we can define a fallback 
by adding a comma and for example let's have a fallback of 60 rem and obviously i will change the unit to none the width has changed to our fallback value if i change it to 50 for example you can see the width adjusting so let's stick to 60 for now and now let's go to our custom css and there are a few things we need to add first we need a display of grid obviously we will add a grid template columns of var double dash o dash ram three because i want three columns so let's have a look it's starting to get shape but we also need to give it the value of the container width and this is 60 rem and we also need to give it the value of the gap with the property gap dash here and we did set that to a var double dash o dash size fluid 2. Don't forget the semicolon, apply and you can see that we now have recreated with a single class and custom properties this layout with our three columns that fit inside our container width. And let's check to be sure that if I change my container width, maybe for 80, this adjust. If I go to 50, the width of the cards adjust. To finish, let's have a look at the front end, refresh, and it's closed. And this is our new version with a custom class. So this brings this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, you can have a look at this video for a full light and dark mode landing page built. And I'll see you in the next video.